last one, eh? Yeah. Every every flowering stage, yeah. say it is a kilo, eh? Yeah. And it goes to 12 to 15. Yeah. So imagine, let's say. It's and here we have how many? We have about 3,500 yeah. stems. Mm -hmm. yeah. So 3,000. Say, you say 20 kilos. 20, which is all, all yeah, on the lower side. Yeah, yeah. Because this, this year it has, tomatoes has been 70, 80, yeah. 100, yeah. 50. So now, let's say just 10 kilos per stem. Yeah. And you have 3,000. That is 30,000 kilos. That's 600,000. Yeah. In this 15 by 15 meters. 600,000. 15 by 33 months. meters. In yeah. five to six yeah. months. Yeah. And, and so maize. So in a year, 1.2. Yeah. 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 What, kind, what quantity, which acres will give you 600,000 profit for maize? Yeah, for maize. So you see, how many maize you need? Uh, uh, no, you, uh, let's say, no, about uh, 25, 30 acres. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, because five yeah. acres gives you 500. Because if you get, let's say, nowadays I see, Maize per acre, you may shoot and squeeze it, let's say 20 bucks to an mm. acre. Mm. So, uh, uh, that's yeah. If you take a 2,000 yeah. shillings, yeah. Back. And then, uh, and you see the cost of doing this, you just have two ladies mm. to do this. Now you mind the 30 acres, mm. 20 acres. Mm. So this one, for us, is much wiser. Than maize. And you know, six hundred thousand yeah. is the market mm. here. Local. Yeah. If you, ex if you yeah. Uh, yeah. take it, that's the local market. Like Mombasa. Yeah. You, you, do you take it to? Yeah, Kitale? I take it to Kitale. Go uh, open market. Yeah, they are paying thirty-five, forty shillings per kilo. When you just arrive with them, like yeah, that. just arrive. They take anybody who is there. Mm, supermarket, local, the mama, everyone. Mm. So this one, let's say for our western region of Adelaide. Mm. Then I see the area. Mm. This is 15 by 33 meters. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Now, my input is this. this the, the cost of input. Yeah, input uh, cost. Yeah, let's say it takes about 30 35 percent of that amount. Mm. Yeah. Mm. But you see, now when we did that so first time round, it costed about 100 to put everything to the last nail. Mm -hmm. mm. The timber. Mm. And you see this, we had to dig three uh, a meter down. Mm. All the manure, everything, we mm. spent about, because it is a small mm. amount, mm. about 128,000 shillings. Mm. After that, mm. Karatasi. Mm. Yeah. Which, yeah. which yeah. will come back. So in, in the, the end, it will rude. Na hii, ulichimba ndiyo, mulika mchanga gina ma nchaka tuye nyeo? Hii kwa hii topsoil na farmyard manure. Topsoil nile mkometoa nyeo? Eh, ndiyo tukachanganya na farmyard manure. Tasa ikarudi tena? Hmm, tukarudi sa hii. Yeah. yeah, in so in each. So I always joke, you see, come on, size price here, my Indy is uh, 800 shillings. So I always say, you see, in Guniamoja, my Indy, since there, there are four. And yeah, so Guniamoja, and Billy, Tatu, how many Gunias of me? Yeah, yeah. So Maze is losing out. Yeah, Maze is losing out. And it's interesting because uh, I told somebody, Akazema, Kuna hii nyanya hii na shinda maindi. Because you see, like yeah. in Nairobi, we buy four tomatoes yeah. for 20 shillings. Yeah. Four tomatoes. Mm. So you can imagine. Yeah, so 800, 200, 200, 200, 200. Mm. Yeah, 200, even. Now, I'm going to go to Nairobi. I'm going to go to Nairobi. Yeah? You take a photo, take me a photo with Jacko. And then the other thing, no, no, yeah. So, mm, no, no, here, I get to come my head. Yeah, let's say eat with the banana. So what I'm doing is, farm yard manure. Yeah. Yo, tunachanganya na ile topsoil, mm. na tutajaza kwa hii shimo. No, quite mm. a bit. Mm. Kwa hiyo shimo ndio mm. tupande. Mm. And you see now, like this chicken, you know, chicken mm. uh, droppings, cooked. it is the best. Mm. Yeah. Nothing beats it. It's high in phosphate. As a hiyo, we want to do like 50 in this area. Mm. Mm. And then replicate this inside the rows. You see, I'm cleaning it up. Mm. Because Max bananas, mm. always utapata cues of women. Mm. He mamas every single day. Bananas. Every, every single day. Na muti muti hiyo inatoka kongapi. Hii bunch. 
depending on the yeah, season. Yeah, sana size na season. Hiyo DC mnauza ngapi? Mnauza pengine 120 hapo. 120. And it's like a bicycle. It just goes like this. Once you vest, it is just like that. Mm. So you cannot have enough bananas. Yeah. And you know you compare this to maize hapa. Afadhali na na let's say tomato. Yeah. Bas. Because now I always say when you have this money, you just go and buy that person growing maize. Because this is less of a hassle than maize is especially in the western region. Yeah. That pressure is so much in a force young yeah, careful. In a force young, you know these young men, that's how you find up on the water. Yo mind yako. Wana wana ya wizi ya Yeah, yeah, sana ya wizi. Tena price today is it's good. Kesho you see like now in the market it's 800 shillings. From 2000. Yeah, 2300. 800 and there's masses of maize everywhere. Sasa you're forced to keep that is why I'm converting that store into a chicken yeah, chicken house. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you, you've not been, been keeping tomatoes, chicken bananas and chicken. You've not been keeping no, chicken. No, long before. ago, about uh, eight, nine years ago. So we are going back to it. Mm -hmm. So to some extent, Jaco, people no longer need huge shambas mm -hmm. to be productive. Mm -hmm. When the shamba kidogo unesa tenga kisa. Yeah, natenza kama i, mbili, na i, after two e ka mbili, na tosh. And it's done well. Matunda. Na matunda. Yeah, also, kama two mangoes and avocado. Those are two avocado. We used to have plantation in avocado mm. but then also problem with our marketing is you no know, all those it was a hassle marketing even mm. milk even mm. maize but the if marketing, that, marketing is a problem yeah those those days but now i think slowly it is coming back no no kona skuma but you don't take it serious huh? skuma lakini ni kukula tu kwa nyumba no hata hata iko mama anakuja kuchukua wanauza unachukua anaenda no, this is interesting. Mm. So we were trying to make our own, you know, farmyard manure, mm, but compositing. that has to uh, compost. Uh, so, uh, okay. Idania, yeah. uh, direct planting. Na baada ya seven to seven days, imejamine, imejaminate. Then, tukusema na baada ya two weeks kufuatia hiyo germination, imekuwa ready. Sasa ukiona hivi kwa ready tayari kwa germination. Hmm. Na uzuri yake ina usumbuvi ya ugonjwa yote, barafu nini. Hmm. Na kidogo tu hivi, unawana hivi dogo hivi unapata ni ni tenbook unaona sasa unaona ika area tu kadogo hii kanaweza pata karibu hata 20000 ka area tu kadogo hii na sasa nikikuuliza hii deni mnapananga kila wakati ama kuna mwezi fulani ndio huo mnapata hii kila wakati tu kwa sababu market yake iko ready na mahoteli mingi sana inahitaji ya daily sasa vile tumepanda hivi iko tayari huko chini kuna mahali tumeweka imeanza kujaminate tayari sasa tukitoa hiyo tayari. Unaona? Ni mnaipananga kwa nasari kwanza ama hapana in direct planting. Yeah. Naweka tu direct na ina shoot. Ina shoot. Mm. Alafu kuuza mnyo mnauza wapi? Si wanyendo tunauza tuko na gari hapa pick up. Yeah. Tunapeleka town hizi hoteli kina trans matris or supermarket, caterers, Jovena, huwa zindu tuna pay hao hii. Na inahitaji mbolea kiasi kiasi ipi? Ai inahitaji mbolea mingi. Kama sasa utaona ka area kadogo kama tutumie tu kitu ka 1 kg. 1 kg kupande kwa sababu inahitaji mbolea mingi kwa sababu kuweka mbolea mingi inachoma. Sasa so, unaweka tu ka kiasi kidogo. Mm. Alafu mm. kuna ugonjwa tu ina hii effect. Ai hakuna ugonjwa. Hii labda ni da, barafu. Mm. Mm. Barafu tu ya baridi. Lakini watu na piga baada ya 7 days tunapiga oda ya barafu. Na kama kote ya eka inachu, inakuletea kama pesa ngapi? Sasa iko ka sehemu kadogo kama hii inakuletea kama sehemu kama 50,000 kote ya eka. Ika dogo tu. 
na na kupanda unatumia kama pesa ngapi hivyo panda kwa sababu sio 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 pesa mingi kwa search eti kama 50 grams hivi unaweza pata kitu kama 259 shillings 50 grams yeah na panda anaweka hiyo 50 grams ko umesema inachukua muda mgani kukua 7 days to germinate yeah alafu baada ya germination 2 weeks iko ready tayari kwa harvest yeah Na unazo kafanya intercropping na mime ingine kupanda kama ku, ama... Kam... Ya unazo kafanya intercropping, sasa unapanua ispesi nyaki. Hmm. Yenu unaweza kweka something inside it. Yeah. Ha, thank you. Panga uko na panga mu nenda ki. Ajenda na ila. ni skuma. Yeah. Mm. Na upanda jo skuma ni niyo mnapanda jo skuma? Skuma tunaweka kwa bed kwanza. Tunaweka kwa bed na kaka kama tuseme one week itakuwa imejaminate. Then baada ya two week baada ya, ya, ya the second week tunaiweka sasa kwa kwa bed kwa nasari sasa. Naona. Afta kwa nasari na kaka kama kitu kama three months then tunaanza kwa harvest. Skuma na kesi skumo inahitaji climate kama ya hali gani climate sana sana skumo inataka mahali mvua kwa mvua mm. mm. kuanzia kupanda hadi kuvuna ama wakati wote tuseme ikianza kupanda mpaka sasa ile inaanza sasa kuweka hizo matawi inataka mvua kabisa lakini mwanzo sasa iko sasa ready kama sasa hivi ile iko hivi atahitaji mvua vile sana mm. na ni Hali uh, aina gani ya mchanga sukumo inafanya vizuri sana? Mm, hizi ma lom, lom soidi. Na mbolea wao wanatumia mbolea aina gani? Ya mbolea, kienyeji ama ya Unaweza tumia hii DAP. Au unaweza tumia farm yard manure hii. 
sana farm yard manure hii ndio suitable kabisa kwa kupanda hizi ma cabbage sukuma hmm. na kwa mfano eka moja inakupatia mavuno kama ya gunia ngapi za sukuma eka moja inaweza kupatia ukiweka tu kabisa mzuri inaweza kukupea mavuno kama ngapi tuseme kama jo hivi inaweza leta kama inaweza 70 bags ile imejaa kabisa umeisindilia kabisa mzuri na kwa kila bag ni kama pesa ngapi kwa soko sasa hivi unajua market iko nini market iko sahi iko sukuma everywhere mm. So una baraza hii market mtu anakuambia gunia 150 kwa gunia. Yeah. Lakini wakati ile wakati tulipanda pana ndio wakati tulikuwa tuna harvest. Ilikuwa mwezi wa mwezi wa 6. Yeah. Mm. Ilikuwa inaenda gunia hata pa 2000 shillings per bag. Mm. Lakini saa hii market iko everywhere. Mm. So unapata 150 hata mwingine anakuambia 100 kwa gunia. Mm. Na upanda jo sukuma. Mm. Oh unaenda kuuza hapa hivi hapa karibu ni ama kuna maduka kwa mataun na mapi na wapi? Mm, kuna mataun sana sana si ninapeleka kwa mataun kama kitale hapa. Tuko na hotels. Hapa ile tunapeleka kuna hoteli ya Lakara Hotel, kuna Bongo Hotel, kuna kuna hii hoteli inaitwa sana sana kwa supermarkets. Mm. Alafu sana sana unapata watu wanakuja naye nyumbani wa mama wa soko, Moise Bridge, mile saba hapa wanakuja wanabeba tu hapa then wanaenda kujiuzia wenyewe. Na upanda ya sukuma na mimea nyingine advantage ni eh, disadvantage ni nini? Disadvantage ya sukuma. Hmm. Sukuma ina disadvantage sana. Hmm. Hmm. Na katika upanda ya sukuma challenges ni kama zipi na zipi? Challenges ni kama sasa madudu tuseme. Kama for example this, this dudu unaona hii. Hmm. Sasa nataka na ipigwe dawa hii. Hiyo ndio challenges yake sana. Madudu tu bora na dawa tu ya madudu hii. Lakini tena madawa ya dudu si expensive. Unaweza tumia hata diazonol. Na diazonol ni 60 bobika ka 50 grams na inachapa hii area yote hii hapo. Naona. Nene inachukua muda gani kuvuna? Kuvuna. Inachukua kama 3 3 3 3 months. 3 months we harvest. Na unaweza harvest kama hii tulianza ku harvest mwezi wa ngapi mwezi wa sita. Mm. mpaka sasa unaona bado tuna harvest na sasa kwa sukuma mm. kwa kupande ka moja unahitaji si, e, mbegu kama hiyo unahitaji ka moja unahitaji kama 50 grams 50 grams hiyo sachi hiyo yeah 50 grams ikapanda 1 acre yeah mm. na mbolea unahitaji kama kesi kesi unaweza hitaji mbolea unajua ikuli mingi kwa sababu unaguza tu kidogo 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 unaweza hitaji sema one bag Yeah. Mm. 50 kg hiyo. Na hiyo inaweza itabakia. Si hata tutaimaliza. Na hiyo ukiweka one bag hiyo ni kumaanisha umechanganya mpaka na ya kienyeji ama vipi? Hiyo umeweka sasa hiyo DAP peke yake. Mm. Mm. Ya kienyeji labda unaweza tumia two bags. Kwa sababu unajua unachota mm. mingi kabisa unaweka kwa hiyo shimo. Unaweka shimo na choto na mwaga na changanya na mchanga. Yeah. Endi unaipanda. Sasa hiyo unaweza tumia mo. Na sasa zile kuna masiku ya kiangazi nyio mnafanya nini? Sasa wakati ya kiangazi tunatumia irrigation. Hmm. Tuko na irrigation tuko na tank hapo. Na tuko na bouncer tunakuanga na bouncer. Yeah. Sasa na sana kama pengine maji naisha kwa tank ya ku ya ku ya ku ya ku spray. Huwa tunaenda na tractor kwa mto. Kwa mto tunaweka kwa bouncer then tunakuja na tuna connect ma pipes tunamwagilia wakati ya kiangazi. Okay, Asante.